Hey guys, welcome back to Serving Up Simplicity. Today I'm going to share a really easy recipe for cheesecake. It only has just a few ingredients. So we're going to make one plain cheesecake and then cover it with some mixed berries. And then we'll also make a chocolate cheesecake that has chocolate chips on top. Alright guys, so there will be a few links in the description of the video. Neither one of these recipes are my original recipes. Um, they both came from two separate websites, so I will uh, link those in the description below. Alright, so to make the plain cheesecake, you'll need a graham cracker pie crust, two 8-ounce blocks of cream cheese, some lemon juice, some vanilla flavoring, one can of Eagle brand sweetened condensed milk, and I've used store-bought brands before in the sweet condensed milk and my cheesecake did not turn out as well. So um, I do recommend sticking with the name brand on the sweet and condensed milk. And then if you want to have any kind of topping on it, you can. I'm just using a um, can of the Duck and Hines Comstock. It's a berry medley, but you can um, leave it plain or cover it with cherries or any type of topping that you'd like. So you want to start by adding your cream cheese to your mixer and make sure the cream cheese is room temperature. I believe I set mine out for about two hours before I started the process. And I went ahead and added the sweetened condensed milk right in with the cream cheese and I'm going to mix it up all at the same time. And I mixed it on about medium speed for probably a good minute and then I did kick it up just a little bit at the end and went to high speed for probably about 30 seconds until it gets fluffy and really smoothed out. Next, add two tablespoons of lemon juice and one teaspoon of vanilla. And then mix again for about another 30 to 60 seconds on medium speed. Next, you'll just want to check it and kind of scrape everything around from inside the bowl and the bottom and make sure everything's blending in well and then mix it again for about another 30 seconds or until everything is smooth and creamy and fluffy. Next, you'll just spoon the cream cheese mixture into your pie crust and smooth it out evenly. And you will want to refrigerate for at least three hours. Now, I separated mine out. I made this right before bed one night and so I did let mine sit all night before I went to the next step, uh, which is putting the, mix, the berry mixture on. But as long as you refrigerate it for at least three hours, it should be firm enough that you can go ahead and add your topping. Alright guys, so today I am doing a review for a can opener that was sent to me by Kitchen Mama and it's a battery operated can opener. I like the size of it, it's not too bulky like the plug-in um, electric kind that you just have to plug in and they take up so much counter space. And this really came at a great time because my can opener, I'm still using the old, old school um, kind that you had to dial by hand and it was really wore out half the time it worked, half the time it didn't. So um, we're gonna give this a try and see how it works today. All right guys, so it comes with a little um, instruction book and it's actually got a QR code that you can scan for an instructional video. I think that's pretty neat that it's got the little QR code in the um, manual that it came with and um, there's also another QR code at the beginning of the book you can 
um, enter to win a drawing. So, and I'll drop the link to the website in the video description box below. And also they are offering a discount code, which is Renata10. And I'll include that in the uh, description box below as well. So that did pretty good. It actually, um, it's very smooth. It's, uh, and it popped right off. So. Impressive. Oh, I didn't know if I was going to like this, um, very medley stuff. I've never used it before, but, um, I just tasted a little bit that got on my finger from the can. It was pretty good. Alright guys, then you can go ahead and put the topping on, you know, the whole pie or half the pie. Uh, or you can just leave the whole pie plain and put your topping in a bowl or refrigerator safe bowl and then just add it a little bit at the time as you slice it up and eat it. Um, I did just end up putting it on half of it. So I guess I'm just going to do half the pie because I do like plain tea cake as well. But that very manly stuff is really, I think that's what it's called. Yes, very medley. That was really, really good. Um, so once again, thank you Kitchen Mama for my can opener. Um, very easy to use and it does, um, doesn't leave any rough edges. I can run my finger across the top of the can and um, nothing. You don't have to worry about uh, kids cutting herself or anything like that. So that's great because my daughter does help me in the kitchen cooking a lot of times. So um, shout out to Kitchen Mom. Don't forget to check out their link in the video description below with the coupon code as well. All right guys, so next we're gonna do the chocolate cheesecake and it has all of the same ingredients as the regular cheesecake, except for uh, in addition to, it does also have chocolate chips and then on the cream cheese, you will not use the full, um, both blocks. It'll only be um, one of the eight ounce blocks and then um, two ounces from the second block. So you won't use quite as much cream cheese and then you'll use um, chocolate chips. All right, so I will mention, um, even though it has the same ingredients um, with just a little bit of difference, you know, variation on the amount, um, pay attention because there is, um, a little bit different step. You don't just mix everything together. There's some specific directions with the chocolate chips as far as um, heat melting them and then letting them have time to cool. So for the parts that are the same though, I'll try to go through that fairly quickly so you're not just, you know, repeating what you've already seen. On the chocolate chips, you'll start with one cup and you'll melt these in the microwave in 30 second intervals. And then I took mine out like every 30 seconds and stirred them up. The first 30 seconds though, they really didn't even need stir and there was, it hadn't even really started melting, but every microwave is different. So just do it, um, you know, every 30 seconds, check them and stir them. And I believe I'd done mine, I think it was, um, I did 30 seconds like, I think it was three, three rounds of it. So like maybe a, a minute 30, but every microwave is different. So just until they're melted, um, make sure that it's smoothed out and there's not any lumps left in the chocolate, but you don't want to overheat it so that it scorches. Now this is the main part that um, is really important. Once you get your chocolate chips melted, you will set them aside and let them cool completely for 15 minutes. Um, they cannot be mixed in with the other ingredients and you can't really start the rest of the process until the chocolate chips have cooled for 15 minutes. And uh, as far as the cream cheese, it will also need to be room temperature, just like in the first recipe. 
So make sure you set your cream cheese out ahead of time. And like I said, I think I set mine out for about two hours. All right, so on the cream cheese for this recipe, you are only gonna use 10 ounces, which is one whole eight ounce block. And then my cream cheese was um, portioned out. It had little markers on the uh, package. So I got like another two ounces out of the second package. And then you'll want to um, mix the cream cheese by itself for about 90 seconds at medium to high speed until it's creamy and fluffy. So after that, you'll add your can of sweetened condensed milk, two tablespoons of lemon juice, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then you'll go ahead and mix it again for about another 30 seconds. Next, you'll wanna add your melted and cooled chocolate into the bowl and mix it for about another 30 seconds on medium speed. And it is recommended after you've uh, mixed it for the 30 seconds after the chocolate's been mixed, uh, put in that you'll um, pull everything out and kind of scrape the spoon around in to make sure that it's getting everything off the sides and mixed in well. And then um, after that, then you'll want to um, cream it for another 30 seconds on medium, about medium speed. And just make sure it has about the same consistency as the other pie you want it to be. Um, you know, fluffy, creamy, and make sure that it doesn't have any lumps in it. And, um, you know, make sure you definitely get that cream cheese to room temperature because that's one of the uh, big things to making sure that it doesn't have lumps in it. All right, so, so with a um, chocolate pie, this is something that you're gonna make to take somewhere or to serve for a family dinner or something like that. I would recommend making it the day before because it does um, need to refrigerate for at least six hours and the recipe does say that it's preferably overnight. So, um, you know, if you're just plan ahead with this um, cheesecake, if you're gonna do it, um, you know, whatever day that you need it, make sure you try to make it a day ahead of time so it has time to fully set. Alright, so after everything is mixed and smooth and creamy, You'll just um, put it in your pie crust and like I said, refrigerate um, minimum six hours, preferably overnight. And um, the original recipe I have to do call for an Oreo um, crust, but all I had was the um, graham cracker. So I just used the graham cracker, but you can use the Oreo chocolate crust. Okay guys, so this is what the pie turned out like after I had um, let it refrigerate overnight. And you can uh, just leave it like it is once it comes out. You don't have to add anything on top. I wasn't sure if I was going to and I started out I was just going to add a few chocolate chips around the edge and then I got to think about my daughter and she loves uh, mini M&Ms and um, so I was like just decided that I would do um, a little bit of everything. So I did do some regular um, semi-sweet chocolate chips, the same kind that I used to put in the pie around the outside. And then I just filled in mini M&Ms from there. 
And then I had a few mini um, chocolate chips and I filled those in the very center. So I will tell you the pie is really good as far as the flavor but it's very rich. So you may not want to add any toppings or very little toppings if you can't handle a very rich um, flavor. It's very, very sweet and very chocolatey. So, you know, be a lot on the toppings if that's not something you like. Now, if you're a chocolate lover, you will definitely love everything about this pie. Alright guys, so on the mini M&Ms, if you use those, keep in mind the color will run or will fade. Um, I had just a little bit of that, uh, just so even after a few minutes of them being on the pie. So you may want to just add those at the last minute before serving. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.